Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you episode number 3 of the career mode project here on FIFA 16. If you don't know already, this is the series where I bring you 25, or is it 26 actually now that I think about it, 20, 25 slash 26 players that have amazing potential on the game and I basically go through all 15 seasons of career mode just to see how good they actually become, seeing their potential, their stats throughout the seasons but also their performances in game as well because obviously a player can be fantastic in stats uh, stats wise but potentially not so great out on the pitch as always for one of these Kramer project videos um, I understand the last one didn't go in sub boxes properly so if you haven't seen that already uh, check the description the link to it will be there but if we could smash like 70 likes on this video that would be massively appreciated but now to look at the stats for the end of season three this is the overalls of the players at the end of the third season as you can see Raul Goudinho the goalkeeper with fantastic growth up 4 to 77 Vallejo also up 3 to 84 Jeremiah St. Just with good growth as well, Tazdemir at 176, Bergvine up 2 to 76, Ryan Gould who didn't actually grow naturally but it went up to uh, 79 through training, uh, Rochelle Bazo were actually going up 2 to 80 so he's joined 80 gang now, uh, Chabayos not great not great growth from him but Solanka, Traore both up 2, uh, Andres Pereira actually up 3 to 75 at the end of the season, Diogo Hotta up 2 now to 77 as a 21 year old, Leroy Sané also up to 77 as well as Elmir Nabulin and Tio Bongonda. Uh, slightly different different growth values, but the same uh, overall at the end of the season. Daniel Amati also at 178. Jelson Martins up to 80 or 81. Gleichi Hanacho continues his amazing growth by going up another 3 to 79. Neves and Castagna are now both 78. Bartlemy Dragovski there up to 77. Nicholas Sula at 1 to 82. And Yusuf Poulsen has gone up 3 as a 24-year-old, 24, uh, 24 sorry, to 80 overall. So there's quite a few 80 overall players and even above in this squad. But now it is time to move into the highlights. A corner there being swung in by Bergvine. The header on from Andres Pereira to Tio Bongonda. And what a goal that is to set up the highlights here of season three. The Belgian winger from Celta Vigo. Tio Bongonda there with a fantastic little volley. It sits up nicely for him and he smacks it into the top corner here in this game against uh, Grodig, I think it was. The keeper hadn't even, I mean, it had gone past him before he started even diving. What a goal that is from Tio Bongonda. And that goal coming from a set piece. The next goal also coming from a set piece, but slightly more directly. A fantastic free kick there from Bertrand Traore of Chelsea. He's now joined 80 gang as well. Him, Sula, Vallejo, Yusuf Poulsen are all up to uh, 80 or above. He's now 81 overall. There's quite a few other players as well that are about to join that brigade. Jelson Martins is another one who's got to 80 or above. St. Juster and Ihanacho very close, but Bertrand Traore there, the 81 overall player, with a fantastic free kick and another long shot coming in. This time into the bottom corner against Grodig again. It's Daniel Amati with a fantastic goal there. Um, I can't remember where Daniel Amati's from. Is he Ghanaian? I think he might be Ghanaian. Uh, but he plays for FC Copenhagen in the Danish league. And a lot of people have been talking about him on FIFA as a very all-round powerhouse midfielder. And this guy is, I mean, he's incredible. You'll have seen from his stats earlier. He is only two attributes away from having an all-dark green physical page. That will happen by the end of Season 4. An all-dark green physical page. That is absolutely astonishing and a great goal from him. A good goal as well here from Kalichi Hinacho, the star man, it has to be said, when it comes to growth in this series so far. He started at 67 and in three seasons he is now 79. He's gone up by 12 hole overall. His, or overalls, his, uh, his natural growth is fantastic and a lovely little solo goal there as well in that game. Next up we're playing Shamrock Rovers in a Champions League tie and it's come out here to Emre Tazdemir, the left back. From the corner, the Turk from Bursaspor has just picked one right out of the top draw with a fantastic half volley there. As to be said, the goalkeeping was slightly questionable. That's pretty much why this wasn't the first goal of the episode, because he's miles out. I don't know, I don't know what his positioning is about, but um, no sliders were used in this video, so that's just pretty poor goalkeeping in general. I didn't do anything to, to warrant that. Nevertheless, next goal is coming in from Yusuf Poulsen. Probably the star of this season along with Goudinho when it comes to growth. because Purely because I wasn't expecting that much growth. He's gone up three overall as a 24-year-old. And that is a, just a sublime finish from the Dane. It has to be said. Look at the way he's finessed that. The technique is just beautiful. From outside of the area, right into the far corner. 
a lovely goal and a slightly more sophisticated goal there from Yusuf Poulsen, unlike just leathering it into the back of the net, which is the technique Diogo Hotter has just used there. The Pacos de Ferreira uh, striker there leathering the ball into the, S uh, into the SV Riyad uh, goalkeeper's net. And it's a pretty good goal, it has to be said. I'm not going to deny that. It was a lovely goal. Um, but uh, very much power used there instead of uh, finesse. Nevertheless, a bit more power being used here by Jelson Martins in an Admira Vaca game. A lovely bit of skill to get away from the defender there. A nice little Ronaldo chop after some sort of hocus pocus or something. I haven't got a clue what it was. Uh, but then a lovely finish there at the near post of the goalkeeper. A lovely finish at the far post of the goalkeeper there from Dominic Salanka is the next goal. The Vitesse Arnhem striker with a lovely little finish in a game against Stone Graz. They're cutting inside and just finessing the ball in off the post there past the goalkeeper. Yet again, we're back to leathering the ball into the top corner and it's Ryan Gould who does the honours this time. The Scotsman from Sporting CEP or Sporting Lisbon as they're known in Portugal. I have been told off for calling them that, but they are, they are known as Sporting Lisbon in England, so I'm going to continue to call them that. Nevertheless, Ryan Gould there with a fantastic shot right into the top corner against Shamrock Rovers after a lovely little uh, uh, fake shot. And uh, yeah, he's up to 79. His growth throughout this season, throughout the series, in fact, has been pretty decent. Now we're on to the goalkeepers, though. Goudinho there with a lovely save from a free kick. Andrea and uh, Andre Moreira, sorry, there with a lovely little save as well. Drogovsky, a little less solid, but doing the job. Now, I think that's pretty much summed up this, this season as well, actually. Goudinho with some fantastic growth. Nevertheless, back on, to, uh, back on some goals after the focus being on some fantastic goalkeeping. What about that for a ball from Jeremiah St. Just? That was fantastic. It ended in a goal there for Diogo Hotter there, but the Heerenveen centre-back, uh, St. Just, with a fantastic ball over the top. And yet again, Hotter is being played through by a centre-back. This time it's Olivier Boscagli. He's going to find Kalichi Hanacho this time, is the Portuguese striker. And the Nigerian striker, Julie, does the honours of slotting the ball there past the River Plate uh, goalkeeper in that pre-season tie. Lovely goal there from Kalichi Hinacho. Next up, Emre Tazdemir is on the is on the score sheet again. Uh, the Burza Spore left-back was pretty prolific, actually, as it turns out in this season, scoring yet another goal there against Shamrock Rovers, I think it was, after the uh, lovely little overlap move. Uh, another, another goal now coming in here from Steven Bergvine passing the ball to Kalichi Hanacho, who yet again scores. Is that his third goal of this of this episode so far? So Kalichi Hanacho, I've got to say, I think he's probably the star of this series so far. Really, really liking him as a player, but growth-wise, he is absolutely fantastic. Nevertheless, his strike partner now coming in with the, the goods against uh, Shamrock Rovers in the last minute, actually, to earn us a, a draw in that game. A lovely little run there. Cutting inside past the final centre-back after being played through by, I think, Leroy Sané. That might have been, I'm not entirely sure, uh, co completely. But nevertheless, if that is the case, roles are now reversed in this uh, Shamrock Rovers game in a reverse tie. Because this time, Leroy Sané receives the ball off Bertrand Traore. Traore gets the assist, Sané gets the goal, and Sané actually blasts it into the bottom corner there. With some fantastic precision, but also some very good power as well. Right on the edge of the area, just inside the area actually. But a lovely little finish there, down into the goalkeeper's bottom right corner. And a lovely little finish there to end the highlights. But now we're going to move on to the other players. These are the players that didn't quite make it into the squad, but uh, players that you still wanted to see the overalls of nonetheless. As you can see, there's the first player, Alex Moret of Udinese. He's gone up to 66 in this season. Arrow also up to, he plays for Sao Paulo. He's now 77 overall. Uh, the left back, Jamaldine Kodjianiazov, is up to 78. Julian Weigel up one there to 77. The Borussia Dortmund defensive mid. Francois Camano of SC Bastia is up 176. Dali Ali also at one of Spurs, he's now 77. Pierre-Emil Hoberg, the star of the last season's Karemo project, he's up to 78 of Bayern Munich there. Uh, Jack Grealish is 78 as well. Bernard Mensa at one there to 80. He plays for Atletico Madrid. I made a slight error in saying he was playing for Sporting Lisbon for some reason. Uh, you guys want to see Alan Halilovic on this save for some reason. He's signed for Liverpool, but he does actually play for Barcelona. He's 84 overall. Would you believe at this point in the career mode? Uh, Marco Asensio with 79. El Ghazi, 77. Moses Simon and Obiolari, the two Belgian strikers, are 75. And Ismail Azui, the Belgian left winger from Wolfsburg, 69 overall and 20 years of age. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this third episode of the career mode project. Summing up season three of this career mode save, showing you the growth of the players and also some highlights as well. A fantastic goal from Bongonda, but also across the board, some fantastic long shots. Gould with a nice shot as well. Sané, 
Uh, Martin scoring a nice goal. Hotter as well. Use of Poulsen too. Some fantastic growth from the likes of Vallejo as well, who's now our star player. He's actually got the highest rating in the entire squad of 84. Uh, Goudinho up 4 to 77. Ihanacho up 3. Poulsen up 3. All performing very, very well. If you did enjoy this video though, feel free to smash the likes button. Uh, 70 likes as always on one of these videos would be massively appreciated. And subscribe if you are new around here. Uh, comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much as well as players you would like to see in the other section next time out if they weren't included in this episode there are a few players I need to add Manu Garcia and Matias Pereira are also uh, are already going to be added so if you were going to suggest them I'm going to get on that anyway but uh, nevertheless it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today have a good day enjoy yourselves and goodbye